Hey guys, welcome to Smoker Spot. Today we're going to check out the brand new Camacho Heart Charger. Uh, beautiful cigar, looking very nice as usual uh, with Camacho products. Uh, they putting a lot of the effort in their design wise, like the bands and the boxes and stuff. This one, beautiful dark wrapper, uh, has two bands, uh, one over here uh, with a a lot of things on it, I will go into detail more later. And another one down here, silver, black letters, uh, hard charger, and the subtitle is Leading the Charge Since 1962. What all that means, we will cover up in detail um, in the process of smoking. Just to give you a few numbers, um, the Camacho hard charger is a turbo size. 50 ring gauge, 6 inches long, uh, tobacco is uh, the wrapper, is a um, Connecticut US Pro Leaf uh, from the United States, uh, the binder, so the tobacco leaf that is right under the wrapper and covering up the filler, um, so the binder is a, a Honduras uh, Corojo. And the filler is also made uh, out of Honduran tobacco, also Corojo. So if you know what that tobacco tastes like, uh, you know it's well getting a complex and strong cigar, I guess. I never had it before. I just got it right now uh, from my favorite uh, retailer over here. I already punched it. So in the, doing a cold, Draw first cold draw. It well as same as the smell, earthy, some leather, strong. Uh, I'm really looking forward to light this up. Um, so I will start it right now and uh, let you know after the the first quarter or so how it tastes. So guys, back with the new Camacho Hard Charger. Uh, I had the first couple of draws. Nice ash. Taste is good. Mm. Well, let me tell you a little bit of the Brotherhood series. Because the Hard Charger is the third um, the third product of the so-called uh, Camacho Brotherhood series. The first one was the Camacho Shellback, then you had the Camacho Jack 6, and now you have the Camacho Hard Charger. Uh, frankly, I don't know if there are any other products are planned or not, um, but we will see. Um, in regards to the, to the Hard Charger, um, the Brotherhood series in general, um, uh, is meant to to uh, to honor the servicemen and the military in general. So the the hard charger um, is uh, dedicated to the United States Marines. Uh, I can also see some of the colors that are uh, coming along with it. Uh, you have white, red, and black uh, overall over the cigar and um, it's also the, the, the subtitle. Don't know if you can see it here. It says leading the charge since 1962. Okay, um, taste-wise and quality-wise, um, the, mm, on the first 10 minutes or so, uh, Still, you have this in the foreground, or still these the earth, uh, the earth flavors. You have a little bit of spice. You have uh, a strong pepper taste in the beginning, but it's okay. Uh, as I said, if you if you know what's uh, what's in there, 
uh, you would uh, accept some uh, pepper dominance and spice in general. Uh, and as usual with the, when you have a US broad leaf, I don't know if you can see it good here, you have some really rough veins uh, on it. That's, uh, that's part of the characteristic uh, of the US broad leaf. Uh, so that's that's absolutely okay. Mm. And as usual, Camacho is very very uh, uh, dedicated to to their design. Don't know if you know the the old Camachos before they had a rebranding. Uh, as you might know. Uh, Camacho was bought by Davidov in 2008 and uh, after a couple of years with Davidov they made a rebranding um, a lot more colorful uh, as before uh, with with larger with larger bands more bands uh, they put a little bit more design in it uh, which I like I mean, it's it's like the same with food. You, it's not only the taste. I um, mean, you know, of course, that's the most important thing, but that's not the only thing. Um, it also has to look nice. I mean, what are we talking about? It's uh, it's it's part of the game. You know, you have to look nice. And I mean, not only the tobacco itself, like the wrapper, because that's more or less the only thing you see. Um, but the whole thing around, you know, the box design, the, how the band is designed, and if you want so, I like it when when a brand or a cigar is telling me a story, and that's what they're doing very good, especially with this Brotherhood series, where they where they honoring the military uh, in all in all its in all its aspects. So uh, great stuff. But let's see. Uh, Let's see how the Camacho hot charger develops. Uh, I will get back to you in the, well, probably around 20 to 25 minutes. And then let's see how this, the hot charger develops. Hey guys back with the Camacho Hot Charger, uh, as you can see, almost at the end, well, not directly at the end, but if you want to smoke up to the beginning of the band, then we're almost done, but with a good cigar, uh, when you remove the band, you can keep on smoking up to the end, until it's getting bitter, then you better stop. However, um, we had a nice development uh, of the Camacho hard charger. It's a complex, strong and spicy cigar. So if you're into the more stronger ones with a, with a variety of, of different flavors, uh, that would be a good choice. Uh, as I said, you still, even at the end, you have a little bit of pepper. Uh, at the beginning it was very strong. Even in the middle of the cigar, uh, it was still there, uh, almost dominant. And you have earth and spicy flavors uh, in, a, in, a, in a good combination. Uh, it's, it's not getting bitter, um, which is also a good sign for the quality of the cigar. Um, and still you have I would say it's almost like a signature flavor uh, you can different cigar brands have the different different flavors for example uh, if you smoking a, a Davido uh, you have this uh, grassiness like this flavor of grass that you can feel in your mouth uh, with the typical Cuban cigar has dominant earth and leather tones 
uh, in a in a very specific combination. And uh, if you if you're smoking long enough, it's like with drinking wine or whiskey. You can even if you if you have no band, if you don't know what it is, and you're trying it, you can probably say what cigar it is. And it's the same with the Camacho. It has the signature flavor of a Camacho, uh, and you have to like that, of course. If you don't like it, the probably even the Prado would say, even if I say it's a good cigar, you probably won't like it if you don't like that specific taste, that specific flavor of a Camacho. Okay, but there's nothing else to say. Uh, I like it, uh, and I would love if you uh, tried to, and it would be even crazy if you let me know what you think. You can write it down in the comments. Uh, let me know. Uh, if you like the review, give us a thumbs up. And in addition to that, check out our Instagram channel. Uh, there we have a lot of IGTV clips, a lot of images and stuff. We're building their community. Uh, and uh, I hope you will be there. Uh, and. Uh, let's talk about cigars, let's talk about smoking. We keep on doing reviews. Um, and uh, until then, until the next review, uh, I see you there.